Good afternoon, I'm Adriana Michelle. Today on Up North at 4, the CDC announced a new recommendation guideline to keep communities safe during the coronavirus outbreak. Then find out how local businesses and organizations followed suit to ensure venues are cleaned and people protected. Plus, streaming services want to keep you entertained while you hunker down at home. Hear how you can try out popular services on a budget. We'll get to all that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. President Donald Trump spoke at a White House coronavirus briefing this afternoon. He suggested that people could be hunkered down and practicing social distance, distancing at least until July or August to confront the pandemic. The president also suggested not mandating that gatherings should be no larger than 10 people. Governor Tony Evers took to Twitter this morning to announce his ban on mass gatherings. His tweet states a mass gathering is 50 people or more. Evers says grocery stores, food pantries, child care centers, pharmacies and hospitals will be exempt. Amazon's well-known speedy shipping practices may take a little longer now. The e-commerce giant says it's seen a surge in online shopping as the coronavirus outbreak spreads. Because of that, customers may experience shipping delays. And Amazon says it's out of stock of some popular items, especially household staples. The Cincinnati Zoo closed its doors, but people still got to see Fiona the hippo today. The two-year-old celebrity hippo kicked off a new series of live streams from the Ohio Zoo. It's called the Home Safari Facebook Live. The zoo says during the live stream, it will highlight an animal and include an activity to help make your child's hiatus from school fun and educational. You can catch the live stream daily at 2 p.m. on Facebook. Let's head over to weather with Weller. Jeffrey, happy Monday. How are you? Hey, Adriana, happy Monday. Well, the light snow showers out there now will diminish to some flurries tonight and sunshine is back in the forecast for us for tomorrow. But there are some lighter snow showers coming through the area as we speak. The front's right about right through there. You see it pushing in our direction. So a couple more hours of some flurries out there, followed by decreasing clouds. And then tomorrow, brilliant sunshine back in our forecast. Futurecast shows the clouds get out here about midnight-ish this evening, uh, followed by sunshine back in the forecast tomorrow. But that's going to be temporary because we got some stuff coming our way uh, for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And that stuff could be a lot of snow. So we'll hear more on that here in a second. But today we had lots of cloud cover and a few showers around. A couple snow showers in there as well. Not really a big deal. We might still see a dusting of snow before it all ends tonight. Uh, definitely not measuring this one in inches, but still it's kind of slippery out there in a few spots because temperatures are right at freezing here in Rylander at 32. Also for Tomahawk, also for Eagle River and Manchwich Waters. So you get the idea. Temperatures right at freezing. It's actually doing some rain showers across central Wisconsin right now. So all in all, this is a very weak system coming through right now, but that is going to change on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Okay, here's the trend. Tomorrow, 36, 38 for Wednesday, 42 on Thursday. Then we go back down below 27 on Friday and then kind of back up again next weekend. But here, we're in a very spring-like pattern right now. But then we got to watch this guy. So here is an area of low pressure developing over the Baja tomorrow, moving across the Midwest and then to, into our backyards, most likely Thursday and Friday. Ahead of that system, we could get some rain and snow in here on Wednesday, but the bigger system will pass most likely to our south on Thursday and Friday. Friday. It's going to be a near miss though, so get ready. Uh, this one could bring some heavy snow to parts of central and southern parts of Wisconsin. Meanwhile, uh, this way we could see absolutely nothing Thursday and Friday, but some uh, light snow showers through the afternoon. Your forecast though for tonight though is a couple of flurries out there. Not a big deal with falling temperatures in the 20s. Your full forecast at 5 o'clock. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. Join Mo Lake Casino for our delectable all-you-can-eat seafood buffet on Fridays for only $9.99. On Saturdays, enjoy our savory prime rib special with our luscious all-you-can-eat soup and salad bar for only $12.99. There's a splash of surprise in every Wisconsin Lottery Scratch game. Introducing 5X, 10X, 20X, and 50X. The newest multiplier family of games with prices of one, two, five, and ten dollars. The bigger the ticket, the bigger the multiplier with top prizes of up to one hundred thousand dollars. Instant scratch games from the Wisconsin Lottery. Odds are you'll like them. 
ELM Repair in Edgar is a family-owned and operated full-service diesel repair shop from pickups to semi-trucks to heavy equipment and RV service. If it runs on diesel, we can repair it. Want more power and better mileage? Our experienced professionals will get your truck running and at peak performance. With a state-of-the-art dyno and fully stocked parts department, we can even come out to you with our 24-hour mobile repair service. ELM is always looking for passionate and talented people to join our team. The Diesel Doctor, have it done right the first time at ELM Repair. We know it can be scary when you're injured in an accident. We know the insurance company can be unfair. We know bills need to be paid. But we also know what it takes to win. We know what it takes to get our clients compensated. And most importantly, we always fight to do the right thing for our community. Nicolay knows. Nicolay knows. Nicolay knows. Nicolay knows. Injury law. Nicolay law. Wausau's award-winning injury, disability, and bankruptcy law firm. Get away at Mole Lake Casino. One night lodge stay, $100 in slot play, and food credit only $130. Take advantage of our sweet deal. Choose your room and receive $250 in slot play. You are watching Up North at 4. It is Monday, March 16th. Grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee because it's tea time here in the North Woods. And Jeff and I are practicing our social distancing. Six feet, right? Three feet. Three feet each way. Okay, well this is my, my <laughs> this is my three feet, yeah, and then you is, have yours. This has become part of our vocabulary now, right? Because social distancing is a thing. Distancing. Distancing, yes. Let's say that correctly. Distancing, yes. All right, in all serious, um, we just want to let you know that Newswatch 12 is doing its part to keep our employees and our community safe. You know, we plan on being here for you guys at home during this time, bringing you the latest uh, updates about COVID-19. And uh, many of our reporters are starting to slowly work from home. And uh, I, I know Dan Hagen, Newswatch 12's Dan Hagen, is officially trying that today. We'll see him a little later, um, I believe, at the 5 o'clock show. Mm -hmm. But we're also limiting uh, guest entry into the studios, and many of our interviews will be done via Skype or satellite with people um, in the area and also outside because you um, I, we do a lot of you know celebrity mm -hmm. uh, satellites from New York or LA right. what have you but here on the four our main goal is just again to keep you informed bring you the latest information on what's happening in our world right now and we want to stay informative and bring you fun TV as we normally do uh, during this time yeah this moment feels heavy mm -hmm. doesn't it it feels very heavy uh, there seemed to be a shift in the you know kind of the momentum today right you know the, the stock market plunged once again mm -hmm. you know the president is now saying things like this may not be over until July or August. Right. You know, that uh, that is new vocabulary we're hearing for the first time. Right. You know, we're hearing things like groups of 50 or more don't come together from the federal government. Meanwhile, we're hearing that from the you know, from the federal from the feds, we're hearing 10 people or more. From local state, we're hearing 50 or more. Well, so there's some mixed messaging in there. So let's talk about the CDC's newest recommendation, yeah. um, a guideline on how to prevent the spread of, of this virus. And um, so the newest guideline is that CDC wants us to put a halt to gatherings of 50 people or more for the next eight weeks. Mm -hmm. So that means means over the next two months, you know, no gatherings at restaurants or bars, big events, school, gym, no movie theaters. And think about that. There are some states who have already canceled or closed every single restaurant and bar, right. including as close by as Illinois. It's California, mm -hmm. New York, Illinois, Washington. And then, so now Governor Evers is kind of is following suit by, he made an announcement this morning. Mm -hmm. He made a tweet and he said that he is on the, um, he's basically banning mass gatherings of people, uh, of gatherings of people 50, groups or of 50 more. people or more. And think about what that means. That means churches. That means all the things you mentioned in terms of how our life from something that wasn't even in our vocabulary a month and a half ago yes. has completely changed. Mm -hmm. completely. So not only are restaurants and bar, bars closing, there's also retailers now closing. The famous outdoor retailer REI mm -hmm. is closing. The casino and hotel giant MGM Resorts closing. Athletic clothing chain Lululemon and more uh, uh, joined the cascade of businesses announcing closures as well. And let's, let's really remind um, each other why this is happening. What is the goal of keeping people uh, to themselves, kind of quarantined in their home? And that goal is not to create fear or panic, rather 
keeping people safe from either spreading disease or mm -hmm. catching the disease in that. This way, hopefully, we can, our hospitals can have the resources and the capacity to treat those who actually do get the virus. Right, there's a curve graph out there, and when you take the precautions, mm -hmm. right, Let's that lowers, here's that curve. So yeah. without any measures, we will overwhelm, according to CDC, right. what our hospitals are prepared to do in terms of treating patients, right? With the measures which we're doing now, mm -hmm. the social distancing, the banning groups of 50 or more, all these closing of restaurants, that will lower that curve so that the number of patients will stay under that dotted line, right. which is a line the healthcare system can uh, theoretically take care of, mm -hmm. right? So if you do get sick, there's someone there to help you. Right, absolutely. So that's why we're taking all these precautions now, and it's, it's a thing, you know, there, and there's gonna be a point in the future where the ability of the headlines to shock us will fade, mm -hmm. right? The headlines now are just shocking. They're right. shocking. But the, that'll fade in time, mm -hmm. and then we'll get to a point where we're preparing, and we'll realize we did well, all we this preparation, mm -hmm. we did all this for a reason, and we'll look back and say, some people look back and say, oh, you over-prepared, nothing big happened. Nothing big happened because we prepared for this event happening. That's a great way of looking at it. But all right, we're gonna take a quick break. When we return, uh, we'll see how the mass gathering bans are affecting the North Woods and Central Wisconsin. Hi, I'm Jeff from The Pool People. When I want to check the forecast for central Wisconsin, I go to WJFW.com and check hometown weather. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. For the most up-to-the-minute info on your school closings, visit WJFW.com on your computer, your tablet, or your phone. WJFW School Closings, sponsored by Marcel's Fireplace and Stoves and Builders Service Incorporated. Let me introduce me. Here I come. Yeah. Cuts, colors, braids, and fades. We stand for style. Cost Cutter Salons. Number one in color in Wisconsin. Donate your extra tickets to VetTix. Give something to those who gave. Go to VetTix.org. Hi, I'm Tammy from Arpin, and I came to see Dr. Cher with severe lower back pain and nerve pain, and I was also unable to walk or stand without any help. Many of my appointments, I needed to use a walker, and I was having a hard time even getting to his appointments riding in a vehicle. He was able to um, get me moving again, doing the things I love to do. I was able to get rid of my walker. I was able to ride in a vehicle longer than an hour. I am forever grateful to him and his wonderful staff. Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high-intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. Welcome back. You are watching Up North at 4. This is your daily tea time here in the North Woods. This morning, Governor Tony Evers announced on Twitter that Wisconsin will now follow the CDC guidelines of no mass gatherings of 50 or more to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Now, he listed a few exempt exemptions, mm -hmm. such as grocery stores, food pantries, child care centers, pharmacies, and hospitals. So those facilities uh, uh, or places can stay open. They are exempt. Now, on um, uh, Friday, last Friday, Governor Evers announced that all schools will close as of this Wednesday until April 6th, but that date is subject to change. School districts do have the option to close as early as today. And so far, I believe it's Wassa, Mosinee, Merrill, and DC Everest school districts are closed as uh, today. And let's talk about that for a second because just realize the burden that puts on parents mm -hmm. immediately 
Five yes. days ago, this wasn't talked about. Now yeah. it's a reality and it's a part of our lives. Right? Yes, absolutely. So now we have kids at home because they have to, you know, they can't be in school, mm -hmm. and this is all mandated on us. The right. schools are closed. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I had to, you know, I canceled, you know, fourteen you know, school talks in the mm -hmm. last the next three weeks. Wow. Yeah, but that's it gives you an idea though how much people interact with each other, and mm -hmm. that's all now canceled. Yep. So it's one of those things where if you know if you you know taking care of yourself right now is actually taking care of other people. Mm -hmm. If you follow the guidelines and stay within, you know, kind of the bumpers, mm -hmm. it's going to help control the spread of what this is doing. This is a coronavirus. Right. There are lots of coronaviruses, right? This is COVID-19. Mm -hmm. This is one of those forms we haven't seen before. So there's a lot of mystery to it still in terms of how it's transmitted, who's infected, why does it have to seem to be so kind of blurty around the area, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but we're learning more and there's uh, many, many, many labs on this now in terms of developing testing, developing, you know, Know, things that can help treat this but it's a it's still a mystery which is why there's so much uncertainty why? and why so many people have so much apprehension about this and why many like businesses and companies and places are taking action which some people may seem as extreme but this is necessary to either close down for a little while or reduce the business hours again to we're trying to stop the spread flatten the the line mm -hmm. of you know of how many people get infected. Let's there take a look is. at the graphic right yeah. there. I think we did ourselves, you know, the, the biggest disservice we did last week were the people who posted pictures of, you know, and we did it here as well, mm -hmm. who posted pictures of the, say, the, the empty toilet paper aisles at Walmart, mm -hmm. right? Yes, people didn't know what to do. There wasn't guidance coming out, clear guidance, clear direction, right? right. So they piled on everything, mm -hmm. right? But in the meantime, when that happened, that became a joke. Because especially now, because it's not affecting everybody yet, right? right? So up here we're thinking, what coronavirus? It's mm -hmm. not in you know Oneida County yet, right? But again, we're taking those precautions right now to be under that dotted line. Mm -hmm. So when it does spread throughout the you know the U.S., right. which it's you know. People compare it to the flu. The flu spreads every year. You get it or you don't get it. You know, this spreads like a virus similar ways. This one happens to be a little bit more of a mystery, mm -hmm. right? Which is why there's so much, um, yeah, his people are so kind of about this one because there's so much to it we don't know. And there are people who are more susceptible or more vulnerable than others, mm -hmm. especially if people, you know, ages 60 years and older. And, the, and that, I would say, is probably the main uh, group that is most vulnerable. Yeah, one it, of the best things I heard today were, you know, nursing homes mm -hmm. are locked down. Mm -hmm. Great, great, because they are the most susceptible to this. Mm -hmm. Lock it down, you know, just kind of hibernate for a couple weeks. This yeah. thing will pass. It, it, there, there will be an end to this at some point. I saw a great photo on Facebook today, and I'll, sh I'll share it tomorrow. But it's a Facebook post of, uh, a, I think it's a grandfather or father. It locked into the the nursing home. There's a window, <laughs> and then I believe it's his son or grandson on the other side of the window outside, and they're talking on the phone. And but they see each other through the window because he they can't you know the son or the grandson can't come in. But he, that's not stopping him from making a phone call and you know yeah. showing showing up. But then there's another side to that. The other side to that is what about people who can't? What about people who are incarcerated? What if this gets into a prison system? Oh gosh. You know I mean? Is there a plan for that? Mm -hmm. So again, these are still the questions of something this hasn't come up before. Mm -hmm. What's gonna happen if that happens? Right, and is right. there a plan to kind of to fix that? So really quickly before we do go to break, um, I just want to um, kind of go over the numbers and kind of how it's been affecting us locally. Uh, in Wisconsin, there's been a total of 64 cases with I believe one person has recovered. Mm -hmm. um, 400, 504 tests have come back negative for the virus, 46 um, positive and uh, from local, from a local standpoint, like standpoint, the YMCA of the North Woods uh, announced today that uh, they will be closing all the recreational areas. Newswatch 12's Z uh, uh, Stephen Goen will have the entire story tonight, so stay up, stay updated on that. Uh, the food pantries will remain open. We need more volunteers okay. to help out, especially, uh, especially people who are young and healthy, the, to kind of jump in and help provide those um, those services. And then also, if you guys need 
need, if anybody needs um, child care services, Crescent Lake Bible Camp is extending uh, a service for you guys uh, starting March 23rd. Uh, here, the information's on the screen and we'll have, uh, we'll also post it on our Facebook. And uh, for now, we're gonna take a quick break. When we return, uh, we'll talk streaming services that will keep you entertained during your time at home. When seeking the finest short-term rehabilitation or long-term care, Avanti Health and Rehabilitation Center is the facility of choice for families just like yours. I'll tell you what, we are so blessed to be here because they take care of everything for us. I especially want to mention the chef because he makes special whatever we need, he's there with it. At Avanti, the quality of life our residents enjoy is as important to us as the quality of their care. LDF Country Market is a full-service grocery store with the area's lowest gas prices. Quality, selection, priced right in one stop. Shop our always fresh produce, locally sourced from area farms when available. Make meals easy with hand-cut meats from our legendary butchers. You'll make mouths water. Enjoy hot and ready deli meals cooked daily just for you. Browse a large selection of handcrafted, authentic Native American jewelry. Join our rewards club and save with weekly specials at ldfcountrymarket.com. Don't let a storm keep you in the dark ever again. Contact the experts at Christopher Electric, proudly providing backup power services in the central Wisconsin area. Their team will complete the job from start to finish, no third party necessary, and will fit your home with the perfect Generac standby generator. Generac helps protect your home and family from the risks associated with power outages. So don't miss out on this limited time offer. Christopher Electric and Generac, call for your free home consultation today. Quality Homes of Tomahawk now sells modular homes built by Wisconsin Homes. Wisconsin Homes has maintained a tradition of building some of the finest homes on the market. Quality Homes also has a large selection of new manufactured and mobile homes. New homes starting at only $32,900. All prices include delivery and setup anywhere in Wisconsin. Whether buying your first home or a cabin getaway, Quality Homes has the experience and expertise to make your dreams a reality. Thanks for tuning in to Up North at 4. It's time for Movie Monday. The entertainment industry has decided to make immediate changes to prevent the spread of COVID-19. From the theatrical releases of major studios to the launch of film and festivals and TV conferences, the entertainment world has come to a halt. Mm -hmm. So what, what, where does that leave us when it comes to entertainment? We can't watch sports. You know, the professional sports leagues like the NBA, NFL, seasons all come to yeah stop it's suspended. not like a power outage you know <laughs> where you can't there's no entertainment to turn to because there is right and there's different uh variations of ways you can get it into your home so including online streaming platforms and they are great platforms with tons of movies and tv shows that are new and old and so much more and there's actually a new hashtag in place hashtag quarantine and chill <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a spin-off of uh, uh, Netflix and chill, meaning cozying up to a you know Netflix movie with friends. Is that what that means? Or a family or a boo thang. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Generally, it means cozying up with a boo thang <laughs> to, to Netflix. Uh, but one of the best things we can do to keep our minds off of you know real life drama is streaming our hearts out. And since streaming services won't bail us out on discounts and free subscriptions, we have to figure out ways to keep the costs down. And you did your research today. What'd you find? So aside from sharing. Uh, passwords. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's free trials, and all you need to do is uh, is put in an email address that hasn't been registered yet. So maybe I was thinking you try different services if you don't have these services already. Mm -hmm. You try things. Maybe let's start it, like with Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime Video, you get the most bang for your metaphorical buck with Amazon Prime. <laughs> the free trial is 30 days, but uh, not only do you benefit from streaming TV shows and movies, you also get music, shopping deals, and free fast uh, shipping. I don't know how fast it's going to be right now, yeah. but 
but uh, there are a few packages. And again, if you maybe spend a month on Amazon Prime and then cancel it, mm -hmm. that gives you a free month of streaming. And then maybe you can move on to something like Disney Plus. Disney Plus offers seven days free, but if some random chance you were planning to switch to like Verizon, Fios, in the middle of all this chaos, you could actually mm -hmm. get uh, to try it out for about a year. Oh, okay, good. So there are different ways that you can maneuver and just kind of figure out. I I love I love like Hulu. I love Netflix. I do have Disney Plus, and I found out with Disney Plus they're gonna re release Frozen two earlier, like three months earlier than expected, to give people <laughs> some joy and some light during this time. And you know the kids are gonna be hooked. On Just press that. it on repeat all day long and your little ones will be fixated on that. Yeah, so we'll have more uh, suggestions for you on our Facebook page up north at four with different movie streaming, uh, different streaming services available. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back after this. Hoffman's Hobby Sports in Stevens Point and Wausau are closing their doors after 20 years. To thank all of our great customers, we're having a half off sale on everything until inventory is gone. Hoffman's Hobby's half off sale. Only days left. Here's an anonymous note. Rest in peace to all the famous people we know about who died from drug and alcohol abuse. Who's next? You? A family member? You can stop this kind of death in its tracks. Call the Drug and Alcohol Detox and Treatment Helpline now for help. If you have insurance, we can put you or a loved one in a program to eliminate the drugs and alcohol in 7 to 30 days. Change your life now. Rest in peace. Every singer or movie star who died from drug or alcohol abuse. An overdose or death from alcohol does not have to be in your life today. Learn how to eliminate drugs and alcohol from your life. Call the Drug and Alcohol Detox and Treatment Helpline now for a free chat with an experienced counselor. Call 866-899-3865. That's 866-899-3865. Fishing for the best deal on a new Alumacraft boat? Then get to American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. Upgrade to your dream fishing boat with the lowest prices on Alumacraft's guaranteed, starting as low as $109 a month. Pick from hundreds of boats in stock at the largest showroom in the USA. We'll beat any boat price by 500 bucks. And trade in your old boat for even more savings. Hook the best deal on Alumacraft boats at American Marine and Motorsports Shawano. This is Jill Karofsky's arena, and she doesn't mess around. As a prosecutor and now a trial court judge, Jill has locked up criminals and protected our families. This is also Jill's arena, a two-time Ironman triathlete. No one outworks her. Now Jill is entering this arena, running for the Supreme Court to stop corruption and the influence of big money special interests. Whether you're a violent criminal or a corrupt politician, I will hold you accountable. Fair, tough, independent. Jill Karofsky for Supreme Court. Hoffman's Hobby Sports in Stevens Point and Wausau are closing their doors after 20 years. To thank all of our great customers, we're having a half-off sale on everything until inventory is gone. Hoffman's Hobby's half-off sale. Only days left. Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in today to Up North at 4. I know the world is kind of crazy right now, and we hope to bring you, we will bring you the latest information that we can, and also we're going to throw in some fun. Mm -hmm. And we've yeah, got some fun. fun coming your way this week. you got something planned tomorrow, I think, too. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Stay tuned for Newswatch Show at 5 for all of your local news and weather. Have a good night. Peace. Peace.